Hello, this is the Provoke Prawn, and this is the Astro A50. This is a short review to talk through the facets of this headset that I enjoy, mostly because there's already lots of Astro A50 reviews out there that go into a lot of depth, so I'm not going to go right into the specs. What I'm going to do is talk about what I really like about this headset and how it compares with other ones I've tested. And the main thing that stands out for this wireless headset is the comfort. It is like putting two little puffs of heaven on your ears and a small band on top of your head as well. The Astro 50 has these velour style ear cups that go all the way, th the material goes all the way through to the drivers. So basically, not only are your ears covered, but the pr when the drivers press against them, or if they do press against them, you can feel that soft, velvety goodness against your ears as well. And the first time I put them on, I was blown away with just how comfortable that was. And it really just carries on every time you're using their impressively comfortable headset. Really fantastic to use all day long. And that's another highlight as well as the battery life. So for wireless surround sound gaming headsets, the concern is always how long the battery is going to last. Is it capable of standing up? Now, I work from home so I use the headset during the day to listen to music watch videos and streaming and things like that and then play into the night playing games and so I need a headset that can stand up to that sort of thing and I'm happy to report that the Astro A50 is capable of it and that's great and it's really advantageous because this headset although it's possible to plug it in it does have a very short micro USB cable that's used to connect the charging base to your computer and so it wouldn't really be practical to plug it in and use it which is great because you don't really want to do that kind of ruins the point anyway but I did find that it manages to get through the entire day and with a maybe quick boost charge at lunchtime and then plugged in on the charging dock to charge overnight and so that's another highlight downsides are the wireless range is not that great it's certainly not as good as the steel series Arctic Pro wireless that I've tried uh, I can make it across the room, but if I try and go to the bathroom, it usually just cuts out. The microphone quality is excellent, as you can see, and it really is a very comfortable and flexible headset in terms of accessibility to things. So there's a Dolby button on there that you can press, there's a volume wheel, the mic mutes when you lift the mic up, so that's all the basic obvious things. Um, Everything's really accessible and easy to, to get to. You can also adjust the size. So you can see these metal prongs down the side. You can easily adjust the size, make it bigger or smaller. It's currently set to the maximum size because I've got quite a big noggin. Um, my only gripe with that is that it you can't tighten it necessarily. So it doesn't. It's although it's very comfortable, it sits quite loose on the head. So too much quick movement will end up in it feeling like it's going to fall off, which is not really ideal. Um, I sometimes get up from work and gaming and, the, and do some other things, a bit more energetic things around the house, and there is a danger it feels like it's going to fall off. It hasn't done yet, but it does feel like it could, so it doesn't feel like it's tightly gripping to your head like other headsets I've tried. Um, the Yazoo Strix, for example, comes to mind. That one clamps to the head nice and tight, so if you like a nice tight feel to your headset, then this one isn't it necessarily. However, it is remarkably comfortable, as I said. These velour ear cups, velour style ear cups, are fantastic, and you can swap them out for leather as well if you want to, and that is said to improve the noise cancellation. I haven't been able to try it, but it's not an active noise cancelling headset. It does block out a fair amount of external noise, but you can obviously upgrade it to leather for even Better. Now, usually I prefer leather ear cups actually, but I really like this one. It's such a comfortable headset. It's so soft and gentle on, on your head and on your ears. And I think that is the main highlight for me. The design itself is quite in your face. <laughs> As you can see, it's very green. It's, it's not that subtle. There's no RGB lighting or anything like that, but it is very much a gaming headset. So if you watch the Steel Series Arctics Pro wireless review that I did, you'll have seen that I was talking about how it's bluetooth capable and it's quite understated and the microphone retracts away so you can take that out you can connect it to your phone and you could use it outside if you could which you can't but if you could take this outside you you'd probably be spotted as a gamer straight away because it is very much in your face it's very leery i wouldn't want to wear this outside in the 
in the real world. Um, but for using at home, it's fantastic. I was really impressed as well with the audio quality, the range of sound that this headset is capable of is fantastic. Impressive, especially with music. Really found a lot of notes and things that I hadn't heard before in songs. And I got surprised um, with the quality and the range that it manages. It also does well with gaming, which is obviously important. I'll leave some information about the specs in the description below. And you'll obviously find a lot more reviews that go into the depth of those things on YouTube. But this has been an overview, a review of the headset, really, because I just wanted to say just... If you're looking for the most comfortable gaming headset around, this one is probably it. I've tried quite a few different wireless headsets and wired ones, and this one has just blown me away. And even just sitting here now, it's just so comfortable. And this has been the Provoke Prawn. I hope you like this video. Please like, subscribe, and come back for more in the future. Also, check out my channel because you'll find a load of headset reviews and unboxing videos. I'm currently working on some more and constantly updating them. Hope you found it useful. Thanks for watching.